<clears throat> okay, so um, sorry for the late video. This is part three on converting the nitro RC car to electric. Um, all the batteries and stuff, uh, battery thing, the battery mount, motor mount, motor, ESC, receiver, everything's mounted, all the wires are hooked up. And the first thing was I had to solder on a Dean's connector here. And I took off the Traxxas connector because that's a um, little Traxxas ESC. And it has a Traxxas connector. But I, all my batteries have Dean's connectors. So after I did that, then I needed uh, also, because this had a Traxxas connector, I needed to go to a high-tech because all the radio gear is uh, high-tech. So I got a 9-inch wire, which is like $3.99. Zip-tied it. Still need to trim the zip-tie off. Soldered that up. Hooked it up. Um, I Velcroed the ESC. Uh, basically stays in place. You can take it off and whatever. Um, it's pretty good Velcro. And then I also have the bottom. The receiver is also zip tied. I don't think you can see that. But the receiver is also zip tied down. No, I mean, sorry, zip tied. I mean Velcroed. Sorry. And so those two are Velcroed down now. The, the wire is fine here. It goes to the receiver. And the Dean's connector is soldered up there. Got the motor over here. Then I uh, drilled the motor, uh, the motor mount screws, I mean uh, the holes for the screws, and the opening for the motor right there, got that. I have a rubber washer there because the screw can't go in as far to the motor because otherwise it'll start hitting the insides of the motor. That's not very good. And uh, I tried that, that's how I found out. <laughs> okay, and then I have this which is a Mod 1 14 tooth Robinson Racing hardened steel I believe pinion gear uh, that's same amount of teeth as is on the clutch bell when I was running the nitro engine in there I think it's over geared though because if you well like if you lift it off the ground you can hear it actually hitting peak and then when you actually put it down on the ground it doesn't even come close to that so I think I need to gear down to like a 12 tooth or uh, 13 tooth and that's a 42 tooth spur gear, I believe. That's plastic, so that don't, I don't know if that'll strip after a while. And a Mod 1 is usually used with um, the Nitro vehicles, especially 1.8 Nitro buggies, and also Nitro vehicles with the gears ex exposed, such as this. Um, this is that uh, Lexan piece I was talking about. The, I forgot what it was, but it was like 0 0.093 or something thickness. You see here, I still need to trim the top off. That way I can get better cooling for the motor, but I just don't like taking it all apart because, well, it takes like a while. It's like only five minutes, but still I don't want to deal with that. Then I got to trim it all out and make sure, you know, it's everything good. And I can't do it on here, because otherwise the, you know, the blade might hit the motor and this and that. Other than that, I can just trim that off and that'll be good to go. Um, battery mount, I got that. Everything is hot glued on the insides here. And I have a space opening there for the battery wire, you know. And uh, that's Velcro down to the bottom as well. So I just put down a strip of Velcro on there. I got this cut off and trimmed. So it's like perfect there. I'll explain the tape uh, in like a couple seconds. Basically, take it the thing, slip it in there. Go strip it down like that. And there you go, now it's in. Um, the only bad thing about this though being velcro, which I should have put run a screw down Where like the old uh, motor mounting plates used to be for the um, engine I should have done that, but so now basically when you're when you're making uh, left turns All the G's are pulling this outward. So it sort of started leaning off to the side and I didn't want that to fall out So just put a little bit of tape there. It's like a little security tape, you know I could probably just fix that problem, but I don't know. <laughs> Same thing, I just don't want to deal with it right now. Um, other than that, everything seems to be working fine, uh, except for the radio. The radio, because, well, it's not a 2.4 gigahertz radio, so of course it gets interferences and stuff. And lately, it's been happening a lot in my neighborhood, so I can't really get a running video of it, because every time I have, there's always a, a frequency that's always cutting into mine. And just ends up going full throttle, turning like every single other direction and crashing it, which happened to the Baja 5B and the Emax and this car. So 
I think about getting the 2.4 gigahertz. Because, or just changing the crystals out to like a random number. But here, just to show you since I'm not going to be able to drive it. Otherwise it'll probably crash. So that's on. You just hold this down of course. There you go. Steering works, you know what I mean? Got throttle. And... Okay, so here we go. Ready? Full throttle. And that's with the, the Roadhogs. The Roadhog 2. Point, uh, yeah, Roadhog 2s, I think. And, uh... Well, action there. Um, and also the ESC, for some reason, it doesn't really break. It's, it's kind of awkward like that. That's that's another issue that I've been having. Where it, it basically, like, it'll just be going, right? And then I press brake. And then it, it just, it'll keep on going like normal. There's, like, no resistance on the motor whatsoever. And then if I double tap it, you know, like, so, pressing the trigger, right? And I go up here. Nope, there's no brake. Then I tap it again. Then it'll just, like, go reverse. Which will basically stop it. So, like, if I want to brake now, i got to go, like, you know, like, double tap. But other than that, it seems uh, pretty good. A little bit noisy though, because these are mod ones, uh, which are also 24 pitch. If you're wanting to know. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So thank you for watching all the videos, and I hope you enjoyed this. Alright, bye.